Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum students How are you? Hope you will be fine and safe at your homes I am your science teacher Ms. Tanvir Fatma and today I will teach you unit number 1 the human body In the previous class I have told you about the nervous system parts of nervous system and how it works Now our today's topic is brain in this chapter here are the contents, the brain, parts of brain, how our brain works. Now first of all I would like to tell you about the brain. The brain is one of the largest and most complex organ in the human body. How our brain works. Our brain is the control center of the body. It receives messages from all parts of our body and issues necessary command to control the body's action. Now come to the parts of brain. There are three main parts of brain, cerebellum, cerebellum and medulla. This diagram shows the parts of brain, cerebellum, cerebellum and medulla. And you can also see that cerebellum is divided into four lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe and temporal lobe. Medulla is also called the brain stem. Now cerebellum, it is the main part of brain and I have told you in the diagram it is divided into four lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe and temporal lobe and the function of cerebellum is to control thinking, sensation and imagination. Cerebellum, it is the egg shaped part and the function of cerebellum is to control the movement of muscles and helps body to keep its balance now medulla medulla is also called the brain stem it is shaped like a stem and the function of medulla is to control involuntary actions such as breathing and heartbeat you can understand the parts of brain with the help of this video human brain is the messaging center of the nervous system it is protected by the skull it consists of cerebrum, cerebellum and the brainstem or medulla. The grey wrinkly upper part of the brain is the cerebrum. It is divided into four areas. Each area controls different parts of the body. The back area controls the vision while other areas control functions like movement, speech, memory, emotions and touch. The cerebellum, located below the cerebrum, coordinates voluntary movements like balance, movement and speech. It controls motor functions and muscular activity. Below the cerebrum and in front of the cerebellum lies a stem-shaped structure called medulla. The brain is connected to the spinal cord through the medulla. It transmits the messages or impulses that the brain and the rest of the body send back and forth. The medulla is in charge of all the automatic functions of the body, like respiration, digestion and blood circulation. Now students draw and label the diagram of brain in your science copy. Hope everything is clear to you. Take care of yourself. Thank you for your attention. Allah Hafiz